Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. It's John, and today I'm at the Burger King. I said boo because this is the Halloween special of, what is it called? The Ghost Whopper. This is it. It doesn't have any special wrapping. It's just the regular Whopper wrapper. Come on. Either one. There is a wrapper that exists, but this particular place didn't have it. Which is possible because I'm about to get some other complaint. Or two, you didn't bother to make a cool wrapper for your Ghost Whopper. It should be like orange. It should have like a pumpkin face on it or something. Halloween-y, you know? Anyway. This is the Ghost Whopper. What makes it ghost? Well, look at this orange bun with black sesame seeds. Spooky. It also has spicy queso, bacon, uh, crispy jalapenos, and the slice of cheese is supposed to be ghost pepper cheese. Look how orange the bottom one is. There's no sauce on that. That's just how orange it is. I had some crumblies dropped. I'm not sure what that was. But anyway, this Whopper is supposed to be spicy. I noticed they didn't go with the black bun like they had been passed, which ended up having some people with uh, interesting colors coming out of their bodies. Hopefully the orange one isn't like that, doesn't do that to you. But really, who cares? It's not like it made you sick, it just made your something different colors. Um, I think it's a regular Whopper meat. Let's take a bite. See just how spicy it is. Oh wait, wait, wait. Almost forgot to rant about things first. Rant the first. So they have the Burger King app, which out of all the fast food places that have apps, Burger King's app works the worst. It, sometimes it doesn't load. Sometimes like you just, just get like the spinning and loading thing for, for forever. Um, when uh, you go to the map to see like which location is closest to you, that takes forever to load up. So you just give up on it and just guess which one is the closest one based on the list, not the map picture. Um, it basically is just crashes a lot, takes forever to load pages, and uh, yeah, it's the worst out of any of them. McDonald's probably has the best app of all of them. I've used Wendy's, they use Taco Bell's. Taco Bell's app, pretty decent as well. Um, yeah, that was rant the first. Rant the second. So, I ordered a large drink with this. So I get to the, the drive through window and the lady says, um, we're out of lids for our large cups. Um, so she said, I can either give you a large without a lid or I can give you a medium. And what my mind wants to say is, well, how big is a large? Can you divide that? evenly amongst your other sizes, but you know, I don't want to teach math through the Burger King drive through window. I was a math teacher for over a little over two years total uh, in high school. Hated it. Not because I don't like math. I love math. Just don't like children. That's why I made two of my own. But anyway, that's getting further off the subject. Didn't want to teach them math, so I just said, give me the medium one. Don't care. Give me the next largest one, the one biggest one you have that has lid. Don't want to deal with a lidless drink in my car. So they hand me this thing. If this is the medium, what's the large? This is like 30 ounces or something. I mean, it's Coke Zero, which is like it, so I'm not worried about, like, for myself drinking too much sugar out of this, but 
If that's if this is medium, what's what's large? Jesus. Now, if that rant is over, let's go ahead and try the Ghost Whopper. Okay, first impression. Is there spice in here? Yes, there is some spice in here. Now, second question. Is the spice coming from the ghost pepper cheese, the spicy queso, or the jalapeno bits? I'm going to try some of this ghost pepper cheese that I peeled off the wrapper. Get a little bit bigger of this piece. I think so. It's so weird. It looks and tastes like plain old, you know, plain old, plain old American cheese. But like once you swallow the cheese and like the cheese on your tongue is gone, it does leave like a, a spicy patch where it once touched. Let me see if I can taste one of these little... This has cheese sauce on it, so maybe not the best, but... Jalapeno crispy bit. Cheese sauce. The cheese sauce just tastes like nacho cheese. It might have a little bit of spice to it. The crispy jalapeno didn't have much spice at all. I think the majority of the spice in here is on the ghost pepper slice. This video is just going to be a few different angles of me eating a sandwich. This angle is interesting because I can see the camera, I can't see my eyes. But I can see the screen that shows what my face looks like in the camera. So I know it. There. My eyes are there. Interesting. Anyway, the Ghost Whopper. Is it good? Sure. It is a spicy bacon cheeseburger using a Whopper. So, you know, Whopper's going to have that flame broiled taste to it. I don't think there's anything special about the bun itself. It 
it's kind of chewy. I don't know if that's different than a regular bun. The black sesame seeds don't add any discernible flavor to it. Well, actually, that piece I ripped off and I was tasting myself, it does have a bit of a sesame flavor to it. But when you eat it with everything else, that sesame flavor is so light that you wouldn't know either way. So this is another like really over gross usage of the term ghost pepper. I'm sure in the ingredients of the cheese, there's some small percentage of ghost pepper in there. I am getting like a little bit of nose leakage from the spice level. But no sweat, no warmth around the neck, no hiccups, just some nose leakage. It tastes fine. It is not great, but uh, if you wanted to try it, go ahead and do it. If uh, you're not a fan of spicy things, it's probably not a great idea to try it. It's spicy enough that like people who don't like spice won't like it or if you're sensitive to spice you won't like it but it's not spicy enough that you're looking for a challenge or like you really enjoy like ghost pepper level or or not maybe that high but like 20k or higher I would say this is probably at most 5k when it comes to spice levels Excuse me. Anyway, that's me for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. The Ghost Whopper from Burger King.